Hey, what up, guys? Here at Ocean Township, we're doing big things, donating 43 pints of blood to the New York Blood Center. Hey, I'm Slick Mick, Student Council President, and I'm here with... Mr. Schwartz, Student Council Co-Advisor. Tashika Henry. Lynn Ross from New Jersey Blood Services. Chris. You know who I am. Mr. Wilson. I do. All right, well, Mr. Schwartz, well, today we are having the blood drive, as you can see. And um, do you think it came out as a big success? I think so. I think things seem really organized. A lot of kids seem excited about it. And I think it's going to be a really good day. Where does the blood go to? Okay, after we collect the blood here, it goes back to the blood center where we separate it into the red cells, the platelets, and the plasma, and then we store it, and then we provide it to the hospitals on an, as they let us know that they need it. So it goes to patients in hospitals in New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania, pretty much. Are you scared? A little bit. The needles are real long. The needles are real long. Huh? Wait. When you go over there, if you go over there, the, that, that pumps out like so much more blood. Bro, if I faint, it's going to be a problem today. Are you nervous or anything? Yes, very nervous. Are you kidding or are you serious? No, I'm really nervous. This is my first time. I've never done any blood before. I don't know what's going to happen. I might die. I might pass out. Who knows? Couple questions. Are you donating blood today? I am not. I cannot. i got to teach three periods and we have a game after uh, school today. You just donated blood. How do you feel? I feel good. I'm a little woozy, but I'm good. I'm giving blood, and then I have, you know, a whole bunch of stuff to do. Good. I'm, I'm glad you are. Then you should donate blood if I'm able to do it. Yeah. I'll sit next to you, and we'll do it together. I see you're enjoying that, uh, that nice bagel. Um, trying to refuel? I guess. How much blood can you give before you start needing more? Well, we only take a pint, or a little less than a pint, at a blood drive. Um, as far as for health purposes... Um, if a person is bleeding, let's say, I really can't say. I think it depends on a couple of things. It depends on how much liquid they have in their system and how many red cells they have in their system, which are not necessarily the same thing. So it's always complicated. It's medical. Yeah. <laughs> we just spoke about it before, um, but um, how long does it take for you to regain all that blood back? Uh, your body makes uh, the blood back in 24 to 36 hours, but the red cells, which it has already made back, still need more time to mature. So that can take up to eight weeks for them to fully mature, which is why you can donate only eight, every eight weeks. Thank you. Thanks to everyone that donated 43 pounds of blood. You guys definitely saved a life.